Hi guys, I'm talking to you today about Gravier. They are a four-piece black metal band hailing from Brisbane here in Australia. And since they're forming in 2014, they've certainly pushed out some content with now two full-length albums, a demo, EP, and a split over the years. Their latest offering is King of the Silent World. It is 10 tracks that was released in April this year, 2020, and it reeks of decay, insanity, and absolute decline. This album has the ingredients of traditional black metal by way of the production and the guitar qualities. However, there is a progressive direction in which the band has taken this latest offering. Compared to that of their last full-length release, there is much more post-atmospheric depressive characteristics with a twist of heavy metal fusion, that's for sure. There is a bleak drama to their riffs. They sound intensely solid mid pace with bursts of speed. And it's those mix up of beats and tempo changes that often adds a slight and intriguing obscurity to their sound and noise prominent bass lines heard in there too. And it all stands up and is immediately noticeable in their first banger, Charnel Bacchanalia. The melodies that trickle through Gravia's sound is enticingly dark and sets the scene of a proper descent into madness and absolute rot. Vocally, I properly enjoy Bloom's style. He has an intoxicating urgency with his vocal folds and I almost felt like I was continually being scorned and yelled at for a lot of it. It offers a feeling of seeking and conquering. The harshness of his sound created a big mood within this album and on each listen, the ambience he creates became more and more demanding and aggressive destructive amidst the musicianship. The turn down guitars in the fetch of the crooked spine just killed me. This is a slow burn. The heavy flow was just divine for me though, as was the creative guitar work that is just so coated with slowed up double kicks and lyrically relentless hurled toward the listener. It's a big track, you've just got to go and have a look. heavy metal elements creep in properly throughout this album with the blast being infused with creative rhythmic heavy beats, old school heavy metal riffage often throwing an ode to early Swedish death metal and working alongside some very sinister melodic trims. This album offers so much and after listening to this closely over the past few days I'm going to say it's fairly fucking masterful and I think that the variances it displays will acquire many of your tastes and black metal preferences. Certain tracks had such a real anthem pull to it and just grabbed me hard with those early 90 metal influences, particularly heard in the track In Remnant Light, while others had that pure sadness and torture of DSBM with steady sounds of desolation as heard in the track Immaculata, among others. It's a diverse and definitely fairly massive listen, offering an attractively dark and heavy tormented atmosphere with post-progressive black metal really being the heart of it all, if you ask me. There you go. I've tried to cover a pretty huge album with everything that I can fit in here because to dive into each track would have been a huge job. Each track is building such a good tension and offering a great assortment of sounds of belligerent misanthropy and despondent contempt. Guys, King of the Silent World is a lot to digest in one listen. This needs time to sink in to be fully appreciated. So it's on Bandcamp, take a listen. It's not to be rushed. And I'd love to know what you think of this one. Gravier also have some pretty sick merch available up on Bandcamp. I'm wearing one of their designs right now, which I absolutely love. Perfect female cut. I love it when bands do that. And uh, to Gravier, this is truly excellent. I'm Kelly T, this has been my Black Metal Reviews.